Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Raymond McMahon of Windsor. Praise the mighty and holy name, the beautiful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the only begotten Son of God who laid down his life for the sheep. Ray McMahon here with the Bread of Life on the Saturday broadcast at WIHS two or three times a day, they tell me. This week, we've been going through the seven I am's of Jesus. On Monday, I am the bread of life from John 6. Tuesday, Jesus said, I am the light of the world, John 8. Wednesday, we read, I am the door, John 10. And then further on in John 10, on Thursday, we read when Jesus said, I am the good shepherd that layeth down his life for the sheep. Yesterday, Friday, we heard in John eleven twenty five 25, encouraging Martha and Mary and then raising Lazarus from the dead. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. And you know, I want to just reread what he said there. In John chapter 11, uh, the whole chapter is marvelous. Do you believe that Jesus has authority over life and death? Because I do. He said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Notice he doesn't force anybody to believe this, dear one. But he asks us, do we believe? And I know I believe. How about you? Well, she saith unto him, Yea, Lord. That's a good answer. <laughs> I believe that thou... This is an amazing thing. We know Peter identified this later, but Martha said this, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come and calleth for thee. As soon as he, she meaning Mary, heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now, I want you to go and look at the rest of the story, because I know in my natural body someday I'm going to be laying my life down or be taken up if we which remain and are alive under the coming of Jesus. We which remain and are alive shall be caught up together with the dead in Christ that rise first, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And we need to comfort one another with these words. Look at what's coming down the pike. No matter who becomes elected president, and you certainly can vote, and you certainly can pray, vote in heaven through your prayers. God is still the King of Kings. He is still sitting on the throne. Jesus Christ is yesterday, today, and forever. Every hair on your head is numbered, so let us not fear with timidity and cowardice, but let us come boldly before the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need, and not just for ourselves, but for everything that we see. Pray for all those in authority. That is pleasing to God. Well, what about today's message? You all have heard this one. Even people who have not come to Christ have heard this famous I am of Jesus. Thomas questioned him in John 14, verse 5. Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus saith unto him, it's inclusive and yet exclusive. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, speaking directly, and ye is plural, so he's not just talking to Thomas, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Did I say that right? Suffice the thoughts. <laughs> Tough words. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that has seen me hath seen the Father. And how saith thou then, Show us the Father? Now that is astonishing, but true. Amen.
You've been listening to Pastor Raymond McMahon of Windsor, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.